It is finally starting to warm up here in North Carolina, so it is much more bearable to work down here in the shop and time has changed. So now we have longer daylight hours in the evening. So hopefully I'll start actually working on stuff a little more. Kind of jumped over to this project for the time being. Again, this is a 52 Willys. I believe we determined it was an M38. I think that's what it was. Anywho, it came to me as kind of a body frame, bunch of parts work deal. The previous owner took this body and the rest of it, I've got the fenders and the hood and all that, off of the Willys frame and put it on this frame. This is a fully boxed CJ5 frame from what he told me. Originally it poked way out here. I have chopped this back about five inches to get the, the overhang a little shorter. You know, put the mounts in here for the radiator and the grill, what have you. Put this crossbar in here and I'm going to, well, the plan right now is to convert this to power steering. So I've got the power steering box from a, like a 95 XJ, notched out the front here so that it would clear this guy. Uh, unfortunately, when I did this, it bent this tube. I don't know if you can really see it, but it, it bent this piece of uh, tube. So I'm going to have to get like a real thick piece and straighten this guy back out. But uh, this one's not really supposed to end up being like a super nice Jeep. It's going to be just kind of a go places around town, cruise, you know, more like a go-kart really than a Jeep. But anywho, this engine transmission came out of the same 95 xj that the steering came out of it is a 2.5 liter motor with a ax5 transmission behind it five speed i did i could only find at the time when i bought this stuff a two-wheel drive version so that's what i'm rolling with right now it's just going to be rear wheel drive you know if we get it and we decide we like it and we want to keep it and whatever in the future i will probably swap in maybe a different motor or see if i can adapt this motor to a different transmission to get four-wheel drive out of it i have a handful of transfer cases over there on the wall so i've got the transfer cases it's got the front wheel or the you know four-wheel drive front axle everything's there except for the transmission is not set up for it or maybe you know i'll find an ax5 that's a four-wheel drive version and just swap that in so what i have done so far is we got the motor and transmission in we placed it you know vaguely where we wanted it and then i ended up cutting these brackets out and i just took some two by two eighth inch wall tube and they will i'll eventually fully weld this but i just got it put in place so this is welded this is bolted to the frame and i've only got two in here but it will end up having uh, five bolts there still gonna make a transmission mount it's gonna be a little bit of a ordeal trying to figure out how to make something and get a bushing in there and you know make it look halfway decent but my goal right now is to really kind of finish up the stuff that goes on the frame and then I want to take everything off and get the frame outside and we already have paint for it so I'm gonna paint it and uh, you know get that done and then when it comes to the transmission mount I'll just drill through it and do some touch-up paint or something like that so in order to get there uh, I have to finish up the steering um, so we have the I, I don't know if this is factory for the willies or not but we have the steering wheels coming down and then from there I went out and got this Put this here where you... so this part here came from a Cherokee I believe uh, again like a 95 XJ or a 98 XJ I think they're all pretty much the same when it comes to this piece so that that came from that this coupler here goes down here on the steering box and then I chopped it here I still left the slip joint in here from what I understand this is for when you're in a wreck and it shoves this back 
it gives somewhere for this rod to compress so it doesn't just go the whole way through and stab you with the steering wheel. So I uh, left that in there. And then here on the end, I just chopped it off and I got some solid steel rod from Speedway Motors. And it actually slips in here like perfect. There's, it's just a hair loose, but it's basically perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I already drilled this here on the end to accept the set screw that's in that guy. I'm just gonna get it in here, get it placed, weld this, and then that'll be my steering. Uh, I did also get this guy from Speedway Motors. So he slides over the end of this. It's kind of a stabilizer type deal, or a brace, whatever you wanna call it. And he will end up going, I gotta make a little bracket here and that's where I was going with this is I wanna finish up the stuff that gets welded to this frame before I paint it. But I gotta make a little bracket here of some type and this will end up mounting somewhere in this general range. And then it'll run right under this mount down to the steering box. The other thing that I gotta do is um, the previous owner, owners, I don't know how many have worked on this, uh, but they got most of the body mounts and stuff done. It's not really back to factory, but it's, again, good enough for making it as like a go-kart type Jeep. But they didn't get to putting any factory or any body mounts back in this area. So, and then this rear bumper cross member thing is just, a beat up piece of like C channel. So I think what I'm gonna do back here is kind of just chop it off more or less even with the back of the body or maybe at the back of the spring hanger. And then I'll just weld like another two by three tube back here. And I think what I'll do is just weld that on there and then maybe come off of that to make the brackets for these back corners for the body. Yeah, so that's where we're at with this. It is a slow moving project because I have all the other projects going on in work and life. So, um, yeah. It's been a couple days since the last video and as you can see, things have been done. Before I took this part, I kind of got a few things figured out, put some tacks on the motor mounts, put some tacks on the steering mount, and back here in the back, I tacked on some 2x3 tubing. Well, actually, I cut the rear of the frame off. It had some nasty cross member stuff here, but I cut that off, tacked on some 2x3 tubing across here. It's got a little cut. That'll be my new bumper. And then tack some 2x3 tubing onto here. This is where the last two body mounts are in the back of the bed area. Got everything off of it and <laughs> rolled it under the lift. I was hoping to just lift it off by hand, but I could lift it, but nobody else around here could. So put it under the lift, lifted the body off. I have a bunch of finish welding to do here. So I got a finish welding this and I got to finish welding that and then I'm planning to this is currently like a full tube and I'm going to cut this at an angle and basically cut the bottom half of this off so it's more like this mount where it's just angled and you can get to the bottom of it uh, so I have to finish welding all that I gotta finish these were put on, all these other mounts were put on by the previous owner or someone he was working with, and they just kinda nasty tack welded everything in. So, I have to finish welding those in. I have to finish welding mounts, mounts, mounts. Uh, I have to finish welding the rest of those mounts. Let's see, up here, uh, I think the only thing I really have to finish welding up here, well, kind of starts there. I got the engine mounts that I got to finish, and then the rear hangers for the front springs I have to finish. Most of the stuff up here is finished, except for I want to make some caps for the end of this bumper 
I gotta do the same on the rear bumper. There's also some shock mounts that go right here. Let's see, they are sitting over here. So I cut these off of the original Willie's frame and I forget what it was, but it was about four inches from that one. They sit here somewhere in this general area. I'll have to get them welded in. But one thing that I have going on is, I guess these plates came off of the CJ5 with the frame and not the original Willys because the bolt or the stud that comes out the, the side of it is behind the axle on these and I need them in front because I really need to put this up here in front of the axle so that uh, this mount and the shock and everything clear the fender that comes through here uh, bolts here and I don't really have anywhere to put this bracket without having to cut the fender up if I put it behind the axle so I'm gonna have to figure out something there of course it's not as easy as just flipping this side to that side because on this side the u-bolt goes over the edge of the side of the pumpkin this big cast housing so the u-bolt's a different size and the spring plate you know is drilled wider out for that bigger u-bolt so i could flip them but then this one would be on that side and those bolts bolt holes would be too far apart and that one over there would be on this side and the bolt holes would be too close together so i'm not sure what i'll do yet it could be as simple as maybe cutting those studs off and just welding them back to the front something like that but we'll figure that out the other thing i gotta do is i guess on the cj5s maybe these were further forward or i don't know if maybe the well these are these got the big uh what you call it rivet type deals in them so i guess this was from the factory but essentially these are too far forward back here so the shock currently would be sitting you know kind of at a 45 degree angle almost uh which is a little steep so i think i took a measurement off of the original willie's frame and these are actually supposed to be more in like this area which still has the shock pretty angled but uh, is much you know more up and down vertical than this is right now so a couple little things like that but the majority of it is finish welding all the little stuff and yeah i also at some point have to make a new cross member or figure out the cross member uh right now this transmission is just sitting on this cross member which obviously won't work uh, it's not bolted down and it has no bushing so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to make a new cross member to hold you know have a bushing on it and hold the transmission there but what i really want to do Let's get this finished well to get the things moved and then paint this so i got some pour 15 rust encapsulator type stuff and then i got pour 15 top coat and my plan is to get everything finished kind of sand this is primered so i'm going to kind of just lightly sand as much as i can uh, blow out with the compressed air, blow out the inside of the frame rails, wipe everything down as best I can, and then I'm gonna do the rust encapsulator stuff on the outside, and then I'm going to top coat that with the black pour 15 top coat, and then I got the Eastwood uh, internal frame, you know, spray stuff with the long hose on it, and I'm gonna do all the inside of all these frames so when this is done these frame this frame should be completely coated outside and inside and should never have issues ever 